guys welcome back to my channel oh my gosh it's been weeks i'm so sorry i've been m.i.a so unfortunately starting in december i started exhibiting my gall bladder problems again so um aside from having SIBO i've always had a pretty large gallstone um that has just always existed there for probably some time. I haven't had a gallbladder ultrasound my entire life. The first one I ever had was when I was pregnant with my last son. So it was over two years ago. And um, they found a gallstone. So my gallbladder has been acting up. It's something that the doctor, you know, was like, it might happen. Um, keep an eye on it. Things like this. Um, can happen and it's just something that is going to be one of those things that happens and then one of these days you might need surgery to get it out or you know let's figure out the best remedy it's very large it's about the size of like a golf ball um, it's a pretty big stone <laughs> so um, yeah so I've been having problems with that so I've been like recently this last week like non-stop throwing up I can't keep anything down so my doctor gave me some meds to try to kind of stop the um, vomiting so I can actually eat something. I feel like I've lost like a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm like slowly withering away here. Um, but I also wanted to give an update. Um, aside from that, my gallbladder I um, about the goats. Um, so as you can tell, she has not popped yet, but she... Is showing really good signs um so her date was definitely off like I said remember a while ago I was given the date of November 6th obviously two months later she still hasn't popped so um, it most likely she got pregnant August September um, close to when we purchased her um, but her blood work did come back positive when we had her so typically the goat would need to be over 30 days because that's how long it takes for like the hormone to really be high enough for them to have a really strong positive read um typically i don't know if maybe she's just like you know it could be off or whatever the case may be i can show you guys pictures of her i'm gonna show you um kind of like her stomach growth when we first got her now she's freaking huge i i don't have one this week but i oh actually i do have one so I felt like it was only fair to do a voiceover so you could really see the differences. This was in October when I first got her. This was in November. I started seeing a difference. This was in December. She starts getting round. This was in January, the 16th, I believe, or the 10th. Oops. This was the 16th. And this was now. Look how round she is. Look at her udder. She has like a little udder that wasn't showing before. This week because they took a picture her udder starting to grow which is an amazing sign because once they start filling like that she is a late filler as well so the person who had her before said she fills typically right before she has the babies which i'm seeing now she's starting to fill a little bit um she's huge her stomach is huge her vulva is like pushing out she's showing signs of like a lot of pressure back there um, she's starting to dilate because she's kind of like open. It's, it's looking a little open. So I think we're getting close. I think this week is the week. But then again, with my look, it won't be. So I'm not even going to pay attention. I've just been checking on her. Um, I do making sure that they're, she's good on her minerals. So now we just gotta, gotta pray that, you know, everything goes well. I'm, I'm hoping to catch it on camera. Um... And I'm hoping that I can kind of get an idea of when she's going to drop. I mean, she's showing some signs. And I felt her ligaments. So on the base of their tail, goats have these two like rod-like ligaments, almost like pencils. They're super round and super hard. It almost feels like bone. And um, those actually slowly get softer and eventually uh, until they're almost completely gone. So her ligaments other than maybe a slight bend have been pretty thick 
So I've been like, okay, well, I don't think she's close. And her udder has, she's had no udder. So I'm like, okay, well, she's probably not going to have them. And I've been keeping an eye on that. Well, today, because I've been getting some weird feelings, she's been discharging a little bit more. Her udder has filled up a little bit. So I was like, oh my gosh, maybe she's getting close. So I felt her ligaments today and they're literally like like one of her ligaments is super flimsy it's actually moving and it's kind of like already bent like this so her her ligament is almost like a u a little bit and it's like soft it's not gone though and her other side of her tail is still pretty hard so i'm thinking she's getting there like she's showing the signs that she's probably going to go into labor within a couple of days so i'm hoping they stay cons that she stays consistent because some goats will show signs and then nothing they'll go back to normal it'll be more, more like like their body's prepping and then stop so i don't want to get my hopes up because technically speaking she could have until February technically speaking not the end of February though like I would say the beginning to middle because of the time frame we got her I mean she could have technically gotten pregnant all the way up until the date we got her which I got her in October a friend of mine picked her up early October end of September and I had her for a week before I brought her back because my friend did blood work on her um so we've had her for a little bit of time and she could have got pregnant up until that middle of September so could she have it in february sure but i'm hoping that's not the case because she's showing signs it's promising <laughs> oh man this has been a journey um if you ever purchase a pregnant goat just know that and, and you know what's funny it's not the lady's fault because she saw what she saw but it might not have took that heat cycle and maybe we're thinking if she didn't put her back with the bucks there could have been some fence breeding so that's another thing that we have to consider um maybe it was something that she wasn't aware of it might have happened maybe she slipped in or a bug slipped out in the right area you know she just so happened to be in heat the second time and yada yada i mean it is a big gap between heats she was thinking she got pregnant in june now we're looking at all the way to August, close to September. So that's that's a pretty big month gap between um, when it could have happened. So yeah, things like this, you know, livestock is, this is the name of the game when you have any type of livestock. Anybody who owns horses, goats, cows, pigs, um, you know, large animals that live outdoors, especially when your breeding and dealing with this stuff i mean it can be very difficult so another really cool update about the goats is that we are going to be gearing toward registered goats so once she kids and my other goat kids pretty we are going to be selling their babies and then we have eight weeks eight to ten weeks with them so i would like to keep them between eight to ten weeks until they wean and unless someone wants to purchase mom and a baby or mom and a couple of babies then um okay most if they have any bucklings most likely they will be separated and i will try to sell them as soon as they're close to eight six to eight weeks because that's when they can breed so um eight weeks because i don't plan to bottle feed them so i do want them to wean on their own so that's another thing we have to consider is maybe housing the boys and a separate little pen um after they hit a certain amount of weeks if they start showing signs that they're you know being boys um girls little girls i don't have to worry too much because they usually don't come into heat until closer to five months but the older girls i will have to worry about so we'll have to separate any of them if they're in heat i have a pretty good idea i have two pregnant girls i have a pretty good idea when they come into heat my little girl i i know when she's supposed to come into heat so i'm not too worried about that i'm more worried about um yeah i'm not too worried I'll, I'll know when to separate them and hopefully the boys will mature slowly and not fast but anyways that's just a little update i wanted to give you guys um i will try to keep you know talk about my gallbladder journey if i do need gallbladder surgery i have an ultrasound tomorrow because she, they are a little worried of the symptoms that i'm having that i'm exhibiting um gallbladder disease um 
some of the things that come with that are um it just some of the things that come with gallbladder disease is just basically your gallbladder is just super inflamed um and irritated and eventually it's like this like you just it just gets hard it, you know your gallbladder serves a purpose and if it can't do that purpose it's it's gonna be problematic so it's one of those things i just have to figure it out go on through this journey and i will keep you guys posted um it's been a trying time but i will definitely give you guys an update and in, as soon as the goat goes into labor i'm gonna try to catch it all but like i said i don't know when she's gonna go so it's up in the air um hopefully i can catch it and be there for her um i don't know we'll have to see how that how that how that works out but um i'm not too too worried about it i'm hoping um, everything goes well. I'm pretty prepared. I have some stuff. I do want to buy some betadine to put on the umbilical cords. Um, after, uh, I'm going to cut them a little bit. I have, uh, umbilical cord clamps and scissors, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I do have puppy pads. They said you can use those, like, puppy pads when they're giving birth. So, I might use something similar to, lay. Like, I might lay it down and help her. I'm going to try to be there as much as possible. But at the end of the day, some goats really are do it on their own. Like, there's some owners who will come out thinking, like, they're fine one day. They come out because they show no signs when they lock them up. They come out in the morning, baby's there. So, maybe she's one of those goats. Maybe she wants to be hands-off and she's not going to be looking for us. And she's just going to do her own thing. Um, I don't know. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, she's kind of like been doing her own thing so far. So I feel like that's the path we're going But thank you guys so much. I've gotten a few subscribers if you're new. Thank you I appreciate the subscriptions even though I've had no new videos within the last few weeks I so appreciate the support anything that you want to know from me any questions I'm gonna try to push out some videos and be more consistent But like I said with everything going on, I've been so sick and I'm just hoping that I can get through this little rough patch with my gallbladder and just build a bridge and find a way over this because it's been very trying and then every time i go to a doctor's appointment and like my weight is just drastically dropping it's a good thing but it's also not like i don't want to starve myself to lose weight you know so um it's not fun i'm so grumpy but thank you guys so much for subscribing showing me support and stay tuned i'm gonna try to keep you guys posted as much as possible Thank you guys. Bye.